Your memories are fading even now, gone to form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. Hi, welcome to the Hand of Fate 2, a direct sequel to the Hand of Fate 1. Yeah, let's go for Lady. I guess I did finish this game. These cards represent your history Man. and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. The fool? The fool steps into nothingness, because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. Okay, but give me a second, because... Uh, yeah, the subtitles, please. Thank you. Hopefully it work now. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you are determined to reclaim your father's amulet. You fin finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at the large tree and arguing among, among themselves. Let's try eavesdropping. Every element of the game has been improved, even those that seem at first glance familiar. Do not worry. You will soon understand the nuances. Creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting order orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road. You push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight and we'll get rich. Why don't we jump out and stab him? One of the Under hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, purpose don't put up a fight either. Frustration arises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts, but truck a corpse on the real road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you spend the coin. We don't need that trouble. No, quite. Here they come. You soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner bringing their wares to market. Thieves fell the tree into the path of the unsuspecting farmers and leap out, looking bandaged. Give us your food! Mm. Let's help them. You draw your weapon with practice skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. Violence for the sake of violence and theft for the sake of money. This attack frequently and can obey the standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Yes, in this game, uh, okay, we are being introduced. I forgot I'm a woman. Okay, it was just a bad attack. I don't remember. Okay, no mind. We have twelve bars for the second. Yeah, in this game, okay, every new enemy we meet will be introduced to us. So now I can use my weapons. And every weapon, even our rusty sword, have a skill. We get the enemies. Which is very interesting. Neither. The farmers fumble in their haver side in gratitude. Thank you, adventurer. I'm sure they af that after they took our food, they would have taken our lives as well. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 
Before all the food was high, shoveling bread in your mouth to quell your hunger. Your satisfaction lasts only a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. The leader must still have it. You set to your feet, determined, determined to find it. Or him, I mean. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin, dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy fox belt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with two wild red eyes. Ah, ah, I've been roaming for hours trying to find you. We must get this over with quickly if we have any hope of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers a sack from its shoulder. Now, from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a blooming great big bow in it. His head disappears entirely into the back until his boo-boo's <laughs> nose protrudes from the bridge. A new plan then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. I think axes are taboo. What if axes are heavy? Yeah, heavy weapons, which means uh, it, I think it will be double-handed, and swords are one-handed weapon. And yeah, and each weapons, each piece of armor has a set of passive skills, like this one has a repost against Northerners, which deals extra 50% damage, and uh, it is one-handed, and Axe is better against Corrupted, because it destroys the armor fast, and it is heavy, which means the Bash deals additional damage to armor. And, but, uh, I think I will try to do. Uh, yep, with my. And this time, our figurine changes each time we equip some new piece. So now we can see that, my, that I'm holding axe in both hands, so I need to find a one hand weapon. A wise choice! Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off in the night, his fox whip flopping in the evening grains. And we will stay with that for now. This card has a token. Can you find it? I'll try. Your journey through a forest is interrupted. Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says that they used to walk these woods even out of gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. As they dash off to peer under a nearby log, the child shouts back. Remember, if you meet the first fall, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an ear song hangs in the air, the attempt to find its origin. I was trying to look for <laughs> the top and the bottom. I know it's something, but I'm always trying to look where the fail card goes, and if the, it goes on the bottom, then I'm trying to follow the topmost card to make sure there's a success. You follow the song through thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden sunlight. You find an aged maiden who pushed your bent like the boat of the forest. It has been well, for winter since I had a visitor, her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ears. You may visit me when you are in need, adventure. This is yours now. Thank you. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all, mm -hmm. or at least started it all for you. A trail of fallen trees and this true. This trod formless leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader, Whitman's drone. 
everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Who ever heard of a thief? Talk about fair shares, spits one. You turn up and boss us around, and we probably stop anyone. It's been days since I stopped anyone. Days! The leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I would love to continue this discussion regarding Stabby, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. He has greet as he greets you, he whispers. Give me a life and with and there will be plenty of gold for your trouble. Uh, yeah, but the gold cannot replace the amount you stole. He holds up a finger. First rule of negotiation, never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves threw their blades to mug you. The leader hurries away to hide. Give us your stuff or we'll stab you up, was one of them. You consider your options. Someone applied. You draw your weapons and prepare to deal with miscreants. Thieves evade heavy weapons. Yeah, can I? Nope. Oh, I can change it even when we are talking. Okay. I don't think it was possible earlier when I was playing. Maybe it was when I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I, as, and as you can see, this game is a lot, is a lot slower. And now, execute. This is me as well, I think. Ah. Oh, right. And each time I'm hit, the skill on my weapon resets. So it needs to be consecutive hits. God damn it. I need to get, you, get back. Get used to the feeling of this game. With the battle resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. The name is Malakai, smart extraordinaire. The smile fades under your with withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands in surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here, an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with this, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really? They were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pockets and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? You stare at the amulet. It doesn't look familiar. Huh? Malakleb says, scratching his head, he opens a small satchel. So, which one is yours? I am Sphinx. Bull or the eagle? I think I'll go for the Sphinx. Because it's a different one. The Sun King Amulet. That suits you. Very similar facial, facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. You have befriended Malakleib. Malakleib, the trickster. We should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life. But up says, Tell me, where are you from? And now begins the creation <laughs> of a hard character. Really, usually set it to default because I'm too lazy to do anything. Let's say, where am I from? From the wilderness or from swamps, I think? From mountains? No, I think I'll stick to the wilderness. And here. Yeah, there's no too much of a choice. Wait, wait what was it? I can change. Oh, I can change color. Right. I think I'll stay with that. 
no, no, no. Oh. This one? Yep, this one. And I want it to be... Yeah, I want it to be white. And, and even now we can change the amulet on our chest. And the colors of our armor. But since we were with from wilderness, I'll stick to the green. Yep. And that is it. From Sutherland, eh? You don't say? Good starts from Sutherland. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I, mm, I mean, we friend already to weakness of this guild. Is quite angry at us. We should journey to Meyerbridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Malakrip's eyes of the trader had not wrote, so. Uh, it would be best if you get the gold and. Meet you, hit, meet you there! Smaller pieces of our fates shattered into fragments. Collect enough, and your reward will come in time. Yeah, here on this card we have a token shard. By collecting five randomly, correctly, we will get a token from um, from this card. But usually the sh no, yes, usually the cards with shards. Has multiple of them, which means there are multiple layers of this event. You enter a competition of strength at the fair. The gold prize is available to the winner. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the diminu diminutive forum, a half wing from a traveling troop of acrobats. And this is new. We are playing dice. These dice are another small game embedded in our game. Gorla is no match for your strength. He gives a disappointed backflip off the table and collects his meager winnings, then cartwheels out the door. You take your reward from the purser on the way out of wait out the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger part. Like I said, we won't get the Talking shot right now, but once we complete the roads the have whole become event. even more deadly since the Empire has come to power, despite their promises of the opposite. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and woman coming for help. Please help, she cried. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything we can do? And the dice. Let's see. Yes. Victory, you are learning. Thank you, the woman said as you help her from the carriage. And please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Well, thank you. Thank you. You thank the woman and continue on your way. Celebrations in aid of what? You see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Yeah. Nearing the sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, you find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior woman frantically over a thrown, thrown lizard man. Uh, let's ask what is going on. A friendly stable hand explains. In a bygone age, our town was beset by half men, half lizards. There was no food, no respect, and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of a nameless warrior who hunted the beast for a little more than a handful of coins and a crust of bread. Sounds familiar? It should. He smiles warmly at the festivities. We honor the warrior like this. The statue is filled with food and gold and we take turns smashing it to bits with a club. You're welcome to join us and you may keep whatever falls out. Okay, let's go. The parade, parade ends in the town square. You watch as the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering the food and gold that spills out, the local notices your interest and asks if you would like to, if you would like a turn. Sure. And this one should be safe. 
You bring uh, the club down with a thunderous crack that silences the crowd. As the statue splits open, they erupt into boisterous roar. Noise and sweets flow freely from the huge cavity you've created. You surely you survey this person try to scoop them up before anyone else can. You scramble to gather the bounty that you unleashed. Would you like to try another? To gather more? Oh no, thank you. You leave the town's celebrations with whatever you've gathered. I have plenty. Water oh. is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. What is it you're thinking of? What concern is worrying at your mind? My Let leg it fall is into the itchy, so I think that's it. While crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous man. You could stand and fight the fight, or throw yourself to the mercy of the real blow. Which I will try, because I like those tests. You'll dive over the side of the bridge just in time, plunging into the cold water. If we fail, we fail. Through a combination of luck and skill, you manage to avoid the worst of the river's hazards. You emerge on the banks. Sorry. You emerge on the banks further downstream. Yeah, and in this here we come to okay. the end of the beginning, running errands for mages. This will become a theme, I dare say. Yeah, pretty much. And you may have noticed that I've journeyed to, to, through. A card we encountered already. Once we uh, un unravel the encounter, and it's one single use, then each time we walk over it again, it won't consume our food, despite the thing being exactly like that in the first game. It yes, it changes a lot in the being of food management. Okay. You arrive at Meyer Bridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. You find Malaclipes pursuing a selection of cheeses by the Arctic. Very using, <laughs> so he's not, he's not trying to pursue them. <laughs> if it isn't my good friend and adventurer, did you bring the gold? Victus has arranged to meet at the graveyard. Okay, we go. You want the weather this path was chosen for its seclusion or for easy boat disposal. Vignus greets Malaclipes with a slight grin. Looks like you turned up after all, and with a lack in town. We had our doubts, you know. Vignus cracks his knuckles and you off. Well, now, Malaclipes, convince me. What's to stop me cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malakleb scrambles in his pockets for some too. The heavy satchel of creatures slants at Vignus' feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of the cemetery. That's our deal done, Malakleb says, fully obvious in his voice. No need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mom, Vignus wins. You should have known the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from our members in the first place. Yep. Allow me to take a little sip. See? Vignus the Crazed. Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor is of no use to you here. Oh, yep! I keep mistaking controls. I've played, uh. I played way too much in the console. Yes, I know I'm supposed to evade. Thank you for telling me that. Ah, it was so cool. Okay, let's deal with them. 
first. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. I don't want to die in the first boss. Why am I not in tutorial? Oh, I hope he will die after the one two. I want to use it on bigness. Screw you. Yeah, and in this game we can roll through enemies, which looks hilarious. I will, tr I will try dodging around them. I will have to be in the first game. Because you know, just going through an enemy, you see, you're going through, it's not something I'd like to see. Well, Clive scratches his chain, thoughtfully. It seems you could do some more savvy to help you navigate this tricky matter of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let us discuss our partnership over an ale or two. And this is. We well done. First You've trophy. cleared the first challenge, and now we can move on to the next. So uh, we've got an arm wrestling card, which means we've advanced the event. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Yeah. Outlands and outsiders, be wary, adventurer. The wastes are terrible, unforgiving place. Find the map maker challenge in Adventure's Hut. Find Hubie and the orphan in the Bor Bar encounter. The cold horror. Iron Peak has become a crucible of death and fear. Are you fool enough? Sorry, are you fool enough to save it? Seek out crew Ketura in the companion deck. Yep, we have it. The servant and the beast. Step forward, adventurer, into this into a story of intrigue, blood and shadows. And in this game we will traverse through a set of tarot cards. First we card them. For the first card, the fool, uh, the magician, the red priestess, the empress, the emperor, and whatever else lies in front of us. For now, it's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.